Oh my, it's time to review Rocket, Raccoon and Groot from the Disney series. Hey guys, me host Super Zoro, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Rocket, Raccoon and Groot. As a part of your Marvel Toy Box series, brought to us by the Disney Store. I am very excited to have this in hand. I have both this one. And the new Sully and Boo. So, reviews coming up for you. Hope you enjoy it. This is the new Rocket Raccoon and Groot from Disney Toy Box, Marvel Toy Box. I'm really excited. It was £10 at your local Disney store. Haven't seen it in stores yet, but I got this from the Disney store website. It went up live the other day. I've not seen it in stores yet, but I have it. Really excited. <sighs> Let's go to the desk cam so you guys can get an up close person look and we'll see who's on the back of the packaging. Alright guys, so as you can see we have all the little characters around from the Disneyverse. But we've also got Star-Lord out to play because it's Rocket Raccoon and Groot time and who better to have in the collection than Star-Lord himself. But let's move him out the way so we can turn this box around. First of all, let's take a look. It's number 16 in the collection and comes with Groot. Uh, it's a nice Groot as well. I'm not sure it might have articulation as well. Nice Rocket Raccoon there with his two signature guns and the cool Guardian symbol. It's a part of the Marvel Toy Box series from the Disney Store. And let's just spin this bad boy around. One of the newer figures, as you can see, he's marked up at just £10, available on the Disney Store website right now. And he's a part of the new wave, which includes the new Iron Man, which was the repainted Iron Man, uh, which I've already reviewed. Definitely looking at these now then. So it does really look like we're going to be getting some form of Captain America, or maybe Falcon with the shield. That would be cool. Uh, that's definitely going to be Captain Marvel on the bottom left there. Uh, just looking at the hairpiece and stuff. And on the right hand side, I don't know, I'm not sure who that could be. Could be anyone. Thinking of what film's just been out, Spider Man. Could we get, get a Mysterion? Uh, sorry, Mysterio. I keep saying Mysterion. Mysterio. Or do you think we'll get a new variant of Spider Man, maybe? A Carnage? To go with Venom? Because we were going to be getting a Venom, but they could use basically Carnage, could be just a Spider Man mold. Or it could be a new uh, updated uh, Spider Man. Oh, whoever it's going to be, I'm sure it'll be awesome. But I can't wait. Can you wait, guys, for the new wave? Let us know in the comments below. Who do you think that's going to be? All right, guys, so let's break him out of the box. Let's do this. Oh, he's got rope ties. So this resembles Rocket Raccoon, as I remember him in the um, video game of Disney Infinity. It looks just like that version. So that's pretty cool. And we get a little baby Groot as well, which is kind of cool. It's always nice to get a little baby group. When are they going to start giving us bigger groups though? Because every all the merchandise we seem to get is always baby group. I think Disney Store needs to let go of that now and start doing adult group again, or at least teenage group. I am group. Still can't believe it's Vin Diesel doing that voice after all these years. Just feel like group. Okay. So group's free. Is this the first one we've had with rope ties? I can't remember. Because there's a lot of rope ties on this one. I haven't had to contend with rope ties for Disney for a long time. Because Disney and Notorious with these rope ties are awful to get off. Oh, he actually has rockets on his back as well. Amazing. Alright guys, here he is, out of the packaging, it's Rocket Raccoon! I love this toy, he's so cool! Right, so let's take a look at him, let's take a look. Uh, so the face sculpt, very nice, I'm liking that a lot. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you can rotate it backwards and forwards, as well as looking left and right a little bit. His arms do lift up at this hinge here and do rotate at that top hinge, there's also an elbow. And the hands are on a pivot. There is a waist swivel. Uh, it does have also a rocket on, uh, on his back. So that points downwards to give him some rocket fuel. So we can 
fly around. Of course, he's got his tail as well, which has got some articulation. You can rotate that around, use it as a bit of a kickstand, or lift it up. The legs as well do lift out pretty far, same as Stitch. Oops. Uh, do lift forward. There is no, no knee on this one, but the feet do move at a slight angle and a pivot. So that's really cool. Um, the rockets on the back do fall out quite easily. They're not very sturdy in there. You couldn't hold it by it because it would just eventually drop off. So, not digging the little rockets so far. They're alright, don't get me wrong. Paintwork is pretty decent. There's a few bits of grey around the neck where the black should be. And likewise under the arm and stuff. There's a few spots of different paint colours. But all in all, it's pretty neat and pretty nice. Um, that tail hinders these because <coughs> the tail wants to be in an upright position but it can't so you have to rotate it downwards and then put this on and then it makes this look out of place and out of balance really for me but let's take a look at Rocket's weaponry so he does come with two very large pistols I'm hoping we're going to hold he can hold these in his hands because his hands don't look very mm. I'm not, I'm not loving Rocket how he stands. Oh my, come on Rocket. Get your act together, pal. How do you stand, Rocket Raccoon? That backpack's too heavy for you. Your tail doesn't quite reach the ground to give you a kickstand. So how are we meant to actually pose you? with great difficulty so that, that backpack just keeps falling off in my hand it's so annoying um, guns can we get the guns in his hand at least they kind of just sit on his hands more than anything he doesn't really grip them he just kind of mold the plastic to fit them so he does hold them he's pretty sturdy I suppose so they're in is that gonna help him balance now does he need the guns to balance yeah, <laughs> she's got to be holding the guns to balance, which is a shame. And then, of course, we got Baby Groot. I am a Groot. This little Baby Groot's kind of cute. It looks really cool. Could actually uh, be used with Legends as well, because he's about the right height. I'll do that on camera and show you the difference between him and the Legends. Um, on this one, the head rotates. You can rotate his head left and right, and his uh, arms do rotate as well. Groot's going to play with Legends. <laughs> So yeah, nice figure all in all. Right guys, let's go to the desk cam where you can get an up close birds and look at Rocket and Groot. We'll also compare Rocket's size and see if we can use use Groot with the Legends, uh, the Legend series figures, and we'll see if we can get Rocket Raccoon's backpack to finally sit in there properly and balance. Oh, we'll see. Let's go to the desk cam. I could actually scream right now, guys. I have just spent 20 minutes playing with that rocket raccoon trying to get him to stand without a stand and it's nigh on impossible this figure is so badly made that he's overbalanced both with the guns are too heavy for him because there's some weight behind these little guns the tail at the back constantly knocks off the there goes the guns constantly knocks off the backpack there is no way of using the tail. If it was slightly bit longer, it could have been used as a three-point mechanism. So he could put his legs forward, have the tail back, and he would stand. But they didn't even do that. It's going to be impossible to try and stand this up again now. Yeah. His legs are going to go constantly akimbo. And... Oh, let me just get him stood again. Here we go. All I can say is Disney was smart enough to give us Rocket Raccoon with holes in his feet. So he can, if you have any of those little circle bases, he will stand up perfectly. Um, but without one of those circle bases, you are going to struggle to keep him stood. Oh, he's going to go again. <laughs> and uh, if um, if you're a kid and you're watching this, you're going to be fine with it if you're going to be playing with it. If you're going to be playing with this toy, it's going to be absolutely fine. If you're a collector and you want him to stand perfectly without knocking over everything else in your display, I'd double think it. <laughs> Which is a shame to say because, you know what, I've been so proud of this toy box series. I've loved them. Uh, but this figure's just too... It's not been thought through. All Disney need, need to do is give us a base. 
give us a base and we would have been fine. But you didn't give us a base and it's too heavy. So it doesn't stand properly. So I'm having to use a Star Wars base right now, the new one from the Jump Trooper, just to keep this guy up for the review. Anyway, enough of my rambling and ranting because I don't want to constantly remain negative because I love this figure. It's Rocket Raccoon, for God's sakes. It's Rocket. One of my most favourite characters in all of Marvel. So let's take a look. Here he is. I'm loving the face sculpt, like I said. It's a very well, nice, developed face. It looks just like the one from the uh, Infinity series uh, of the game. And it also looks like um, Rocket Raccoon, sort of the animated version that we saw with Disney XD. Very similar. Uh, very different and far away from what we get in the comic books. So that's nice. And he comes with his little pal Groot as well. And you can never go wrong with having a little Groot in your collection. A little Groot. Rocket Raccoon comes with two big guns with orange tops. It matches his orange uniform, which is pretty cool. Uh, and he's got a gun. God's sakes. And he does come with a nice backpack, like I said, which does hinder. You are meant to have it this way, by the way. I'm probably never going to get that back in now. It's meant to go that way. But when you have it that way, the tail gets in the way too much. And you know what? It just constantly, boing, pings off every time you touch the figure. So I've been putting it that way. Which is the wrong way around, but you know. The tail moves as well, but like I said, it could have been a little bit longer. Luckily though, we do have those little peg holes. So I'm not going to worry too much. Literally, I'm just messing with the with the articulation here, trying to get him to stand. And it's, it just doesn't work. The feet are in the wrong positions. No matter how far you separate those legs. The one leg, oh, there goes the backpack again. <sighs> Can you tell the frustration in my voice? It's so annoying because... Like I've said before, I have always hailed this series. I have loved the Toy Box series so much. I've collected every single one of them, and I've always praised them highly. And I'm annoyed that Rocket Raccoon, one of my favourite characters in all of Marvel, is going to be the one figure that I'm going to have to give the worst review to. That's what hurts right now. Because it's Rocket Raccoon. I was so excited to have him because... I've been dying to do a animated series. Oh my god, there he goes, he stood. Yay! I've been oh I need You know I've been dying to do that animated series for so long, The Guardians of the Disney Universe, and I finally got a, a Rocket Raccoon and Groot that looks like it belongs in that realm. Because it's so cool because we have Stitch who is the same height, just a little bit shorter. We have Yoda in the series. And you know what? We're gonna use Spider Ham. Because they're all about the same size. These are going to be the Guardians of the Disneyverse in a short animated cartoon by me. And I've been working on it, but I've been using this monster, the Diamond Select rocket, and he looks terrifying. So what I mean about the tail? Kickstand. That's all you had to do, Disney. It's so annoying. But if we scrabble these guys out of the way, get away, Rocket Raccoon, get off my stage, get everything off my stage except this little bad boy Groot. Yeah, Groot battle. And if we stand, if we can get Groot to stand, come on, Groot, don't you do this to me as well, buddy. Your legs don't even move. There we go. Ah. Does he scale well with Legend series? What do you think, guys? Do you think he scales well? Let me know in the comments. Would you use that scale? Let us know. And there they are, stood together like a happy family. Let's hope we get Gamora, Drax, real soon to go with them, so we can complete our Guardians. But what are your thoughts, guys? Do you think Rocket Raccoon's a good figure? Like I said, don't want to remain completely negative. It is a spawn figure. He is really cool. I just wish that have sorted out the issue of him standing on his own a little bit better before release. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. But let's go back to the main cam first of all and finish off of today's video. So guys, what are your thoughts on these two? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow where we will be reviewing Sully and Boo. So make sure you come back and check that video out. But thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!